Let's uh, rock and roll. Let's kick the tires and light the fires, Big Daddy. Let's get this show on the road. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Good morning. We are just uh, going to be rock and rolling. We got that. I'm representing the old them dogs right now. Almost at Rook Six. Nice hat, by the way. Thank you. You know, it is my, it is a Bulldogs hat here. It is a Bulldogs hat for sure. Thank you. You know, I am seven points from Rook Six myself. So we should be able to, with even like a top, just a top three, be able to get it. But obviously, y'all know your boy. I want that first place. Yeah, there are, there are no pictures there. So now that question has been answered. Key control hits the snipe. I should have just party with you, Key. Or party with Diddy Kong. Should have just party with you. Key control is in here though. I don't see Diddy Kong. I don't know if he was trying to snipe, but I saw him online. But I feel like if Diddy was trying to snipe, he would have hit the target. Diddy Kong is the uh, he has the Hawkeye. He has the Hawkeye. Thank y'all again for coming and hanging out on your Friday. I'm gonna knock the dust off. This was a very bad first roll. Very, very bad first roll there. Let's go ahead and get Uni in. Because it was basically Frost Knight, uh, Defector Source, and Winter Corruption. Eh. Unicorn was the best unit. And that's kind of saying something a little bit. That's kind of saying something. Ooh, two wins back to back. Did you buy the Thunder Spirit skin? You know I did not. It is beautiful. It is beautiful, but I did not. I did not. This uh, this chessboard was, my, uh, was the birthday present to me. And the only thing I've really paid, paid for in the game besides the season pass. And my chess piece here, too. Alright, so we could take Uni Pair. I think that sword will be the best right now, though. Maybe get a little cave going early on. Abby's here, too, who's also very good. Pair of Magi's, pair of Unicorns, just get the pairs, not bad. Uh, B-Day is a week from tomorrow, Grease. Did a little bit early. Did a, did a little bit early because they had it as the guaranteed board for a chest that had some other good stuff in it, the Halloween stuff. It'll be a week from tomorrow is the B-Day. It is indeed. Wanted to, you know, beautify the stream a little bit. Give y'all some eye candy to look at. So, you know what? We got some mana right now. So, kind of the world is our oyster. A little ice armor as well. So, uh, that water spirit is looking pretty nice and juicy. We're going to drop sword now. And we're going to grab this witcher pair right here. In goes Woda. In goes a witcher. And maybe go a little divinity action right now. Divinity cave could work too. So we could have used a sword for that. We just didn't have enough money for everything. We could have maybe sold the unicorn, kept the sword. Would we'll probably been the play there. We'll hold Tusk just in case. We got witchers. We got uni and Tusk. If Fallen Witcher comes, ain't no reason we can't go beast witcher, right? We got to keep our options open. Like I said, the world's our oyster. Boys are oyster are broken. And they, they just use all the luck by going all in and winning. Woda Spirit sliding on through, giving them the water balloons. Ain't afraid of anything here. So now we got Pole Staff and Teleport Dagger. And the Ice Armor as our options right now. Hello, Goddess of Light. How art thou today? How art thou, Goddess of Light? How art thou? I think we probably lose still. I don't think we're very strong. Oh, yeah. Ooh, KN Heo. Alright, so we got two water spirits down there with that mech. Whoa, boring. There it goes. Give me some rosés for Boren Largan. I'm waiting. Boren Largan, man, thank you so, so, so much for two months resubbing that is huge born i know i hope you know i love you man thank you thank you for being here for being part of the community and for that two months for real that is a uh, a huge 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 deal born thank you thank you thank you thank you i can't say it enough i cannot say it enough thank you born and thank y'all for those rosés let me deal with this real fast and i will give you the proper love every single one of you beautiful people here so we got a little cooldown reduction now we'll just toss this right here on top of woda I totally deserved. No, thank you. You are far too kind, Boren. You know, Grease, Farzru, B, Lee, Farzru again, Didi Kong, Dab in the Rose, and B again. Thank y'all for those Roses. Wish there was an exclamation point sub so the bot can spam the emote. I'll see what I can make happen. I'll see what I can make happen through management for you. Oh, actually, we need this Whisper Seer. We have uh, two unicorns, right? Oh, no, we have one. We have one. Still, though, we can hold it. We're going to need druids anyway. 
So the best move for us here is to open the fort up a little bit and see what we get. I took that teleport dagger because even if we go with beast, it's still going to work out here. There's a Thunder Spirit skin I have, but it's not that new sexy one. But it's still good. What is, is Heo still open? Yeah, Heo's still a priest open. So let's do this. Let's get room here. We're going to juke this guy. We're going to juke this guy. We're going to juke him. We're going to juke him hard. Oh, you just got to wait till the countdown happens. And out they go. So we have zero units. And we got him too. Ended his lose streak. Continued ours. Ooh, that play felt good. Luckily, we got him this round. We ended the lose streak econ for him. GG. Now, key control, don't grief me, sir. I love you. You know, key control, I love you. Don't, don't grief the lose streak, baby. Don't grief the lose streak. Heo. Pity him. I do pity him. I, it, you know, it happens to all of us. It happens to all of us. You, you gotta just do it nice and easy. Be like, shh, 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 wait for it, wait for it. Oh, and now everything's been moved out. I'm asking for the wins. You can have the wins, man. I'm just gonna leave a priest in now. It's just gonna be a priest. All right, so we'll sell those two off now. We're gonna commit to divinity. I'm gonna grab this priestess and this skull hunter. We might go divinity cave, water spirit, with that new cave buff. 2D, hello, 2D, hello, good evening to you. 2D, how is your Friday? Well, it's almost Saturday for you now, right? 2D, how you doing today? How was your Friday? All right, so we got Mayo is going to easily beat us. We're just chilling like a villain right now, sipping on our coffee. Purposely loose streaking for Econ. Only a Grand Herald away from Four Divinity. Well, I tell y'all how much I love you and how much I appreciate y'all being here. Key Control, 91 health. Mm. I love seeing me a slop trash panda when I'm in Divinity. Uh, Knights look to be pretty open here actually witchers uh knights right here on uh cosma maybe no argali though so there's no reason for us not to take the argali and hold him since we don't even have water spirit two starred mm, slop trash delicious lost to anti-mage i should be rook seven by now instead of being rook nine. Oh my word uh give me some rosé's leaf paying the sub four gifting it over to 2d This is the second time Leaf has paid that sub for. Leaf, thank you so much for also joining our community, for being here, for all the support you give, all the time you give, and for that gift sub over to 2D. That is huge, Leaf. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. And Grease, Leaf, B. Hold on one second. Hell Knight, huh? All right, let's do this. Let's move away from here for right now. We'll get rid of these two. And that Skull Hunter, we will grab these two right here. Thank you again for the Rosés. Uh, Leaf, B, Grease, Farju, Key Control, and Didi Kong. Dab crackening the Rosé. I really appreciate it. Our Econ is in a pretty good spot right now. We're doing good Econ-wise. We should easily be strong. Well, I shouldn't say easily. We should. We should be strong enough for the most electrifying NPC in all of Auto Chess. The Rock. We should be. 77 health still on this open fort with a good bit of money as well. We're in a decent spot. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all is what this is. We'll see. We got a, a, a this is definitely going to be Glacier Nights on Vietnam, Vietnam. So uh, Vietnam from Vietnam as well. I'm looking at going Glacial Nights. But it's not Divinity Knight, so that will be all that matters. There is a Avenge Knight. It gives us Triple Knight, but it doesn't help us a lot. But it does give us a better front line, I would suppose. We'll have a little bit of cooldown reduction like this. We don't lose any Econ for buying her, so let's buy her and toss her in this round. Uh, it's difficult teleporting in this Argali. The Water Spirit's a little bit better, actually. Let's try it like this. I don't know if we win, actually. We'll see if we win. We're just going to be Econ Greedy, though. And we already have the one item we really need for anything. So that is the good news, is we have our Tele Dagger. If we get one more Magic of Crystal, we also have a Pulse Staff, which works for both of these builds. Our Knights are doing a lot of work. Our Golly Slop does die there. One star. Not super tanky, but A-OK. -okay. Stun, though. 
on the corporate champ. Big Rock, the people's champ, is already down. It is just Rocky Maivia and the corporate champ and just a God of War. We'll fall a little short. If we had leveled up, we would have got that. But it's okay. It is a okay. Who am I getting on 11? Are they going to grief me? Oh, it's I haven't got key control yet, right? I don't think key control griefs me here. We just need to come this round too, of course, man. I keep getting gifted subs, so at least I could do is use my sub money on somebody else's leaf. Thank you so much, for real. That is uh, far, far too kind. We fought. Well, okay, we did fight, so it's not key. I'm not going to take the time to look. I'm making sure no one's just opening right now. Kind of looks like a really good Divinity Knight game, too. There's mages, and knights are very good against mage. There we go. Just move them on out. We'll get rid of Avenge Knight. And we will lose to the Agursus Hunters. I think this is the first time I saw you wearing a cap. I don't wear hats very often. I've worn an AEW hat a couple times. A-E-Dub. But I have never worn like my Georgia hats. Got some Panthers hats, Lakers hats, Flyers as well. Go 6 Knight. I am not a Knight fan. Hi. I know they just buffed Avenge Knight. I still don't like playing Knights that way. I'd much rather just go uh, Divinity Knights. Without a doubt. I'm going to leave the Ford open one more round. And then on uh, them cats as hell. They are very young. They are rebuilding. But they're not bad. Even though they lost to the Falcons. And the Falcons are complete and utter garbage. Uh, it's still not bad. It could be worse. Even with that Falcons win. The Falcons still have a worse record. And that's all I care about. It's a successful season. Successful season. Next round though. I'll naturally level. We'll close the fort down or try to. On that round we'll roll for some two stars. Bada boom. Uh, pick the build. I also played with Koga Boss earlier, and it's a perfect game. I, uh, me, me, Solduri, Koga, uh, Persigma, a few other people. We got, but when the ranked was down, we were playing some custom lobbies together. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I enjoyed it thoroughly. There's another wizard, but we have to have, um, we have to have Grand Herald. We need the divinity for him. The internet's being a little laggy today. Woda two star will take you, sir. Where can I? There he is, right there. Let's do this now. Mooch better, mooch better. We're still not strong, but we at least have four divinity and a two star Woda. Uh, PC client, I'm on the PC client right now. New to the game, what's the strategy here? It's Dreway. Hello, hello. Good, happy Friday. How are you doing, Dre? Hello, and uh, welcome into Auto Chess. So basically, Auto Chess is there's a few different things going on here. It's you versus seven other people, eight people in the lobby, and you randomly play one of the other players every round. So the strategy I was just implementing is I was not strong. So if I lose streak, I get more gold than if I try to actually play and win there. I'm losing health by doing it though. But I get more health by um, I get more health by losing there is what I was doing. We're going up in level for the wolf pack too. But the strategy is you randomly every round you get five units. You can spend gold to roll for more units, or you can just buy one of the five you get or not buy any at all, right? So the, you try to make the best composition you can out of the units you're randomly rolling. And while people are buying units, it takes them out of the unit pool as well. So you have less chance to see certain stuff that other people have. So you're kind of balancing getting what you need while avoiding other people taking what you need. And the more money you have, the more gold you get at the end of the round. So you get one gold for every 10 you have when the round ends. So right now for 30 gold, I get three extra gold at the end of this round. And that goes up to 50. So it's a balance of having money to do what you need to do while still spending enough to be strong. I hope I explained that, okay? Dre, how are you doing, though? How is your Friday going? All right, so Wolfpack round. What you do for the Wolfpack round with Divinity is we have to frontline our wizards and our priestess. It's the best auto battler ever. I agree with Tootie. I played TFT. I played Underlords, DAC, Hearthstone Battlegrounds. This is the original creators of the Dota Auto Chess mod that started all of the auto battlers. These are the people who who basically started the whole genre, and don't get enough credit for that. And it's uh, I guess me just having played Dota Auto Chess originally is why I like this one the most because it is it's still exactly what it was originally right now. 
Well, yeah, we have to frontline our wizards in Divinity because they are useless against creep rounds, so they just become an extra tank for us being on out here. And we still, once again, have pretty good econ here. It's not great. We're going to actually sell this Priestess off to hit 40. Another Magicka Crystal. We want this Pulse Staff. So what you do is you take that Magicka Staff, you take this Mana Crystal, and combine these two together. And it is for more mana, more ability damage, and this dealing 350 magical damage to one random enemy. So it's just extra damage on this Water Spirit or our Golly Knight, too. So far, so good. I played this morning, placed third and fourth. I'm big on combining assassins. I've had a lot of success. Assassins, Dre, are pretty good. I haven't... Hey, Tuggers, good morning. Good morning, Tuggers. How are you doing? Hello, Tugs. What's going on, baby? What's going on there? All right, so I was going to say, the I haven't played since they patched on Wednesday. I played two games is all. The meta was very, very healthy, though, Dre, where you could play just about anything. And um, I'm sure it's about the same right now. I'm rolling right now for two stars. Hmm. Are we going Knights? But uh, some people I play stay at 100 health the whole time. Yeah, it's uh, so I was going to say the meta was very healthy, though. You could play almost anything, and Assassins are a good build as well. I'm sure it's about the same right now. There's a few stuff that, I, that will be stronger, I would imagine, but I'm not positive on that yet. I will let y'all know after the end of today. But yeah, it was a very healthy, healthy meta. How was that a draw? Oh, my water spirit died. Whoa, and it's Dreway. Give me some rosés for Dre dropping that follow down too. Dre, welcome officially to the family. If you, just like you did, if you ever want to talk, you got questions or you need anything, don't be afraid to put it down there in the chat. We are, we are family and this is a safe space, Dre. Dre, thank you so much for real. And welcome, welcome. Anything you need, anything we can help with. Grease, Farger, B, Leaf, Tootie, and Tuggers, and you know, thank you for those rosés. Let me make sure I haven't missed anything else either. Yeah, if you're if you're really good, if you see, you can see uh, Chan Sama is 100%. Just has a strong build early on. RNG what he needed so far. Wait, wait, wait. Make sure. Good morning, sweet. Tootie is right. I have seen a lot of people from other battles come here. I think so, Leaf. I've, in the past couple of months, seen a lot of new players coming on in and a lot of players coming back. If y'all look at, just search Auto Chess on Twitch, right? It has gained 20,000 followers, the game, since I started streaming it. It's got almost 400,000. I'd be at 400,000 now. We, um, there's plenty of interest and plenty of viewers to bring back to this game. And it's, it's not there. Just promote the game, AC. Just started with some homemade waffles. Hard to beat Tuggers. That does sound like a very good start. Will I be fluent in English watching you? You will at least, at least, hi, you will be fluent in Southern English slang. Southern English slang, if you follow me. Is it only me, or is the cam a bit laggy after the PC version? Uh, my internet, it's not, I'm not dropping frames, but the actual internet connection today has been a little shoddy. So, it might be our actual connection. Might be something with Twitch, too, with everything going on, you know, election-wise and whatnot. Leaf, thank you for that hydrate. It might just be lagging the actual Twitch server down here in the south. Because the internet for a few months has been really spot on. But today it has been like the connection itself has been lagging. Water Spirit sliding on through. Doing what he do with that AoE. Still slipping and sliding. Down goes some Warriors. Oh, he already lost his win streak. You sick, sick person, you. Oh, I wanted that win streak. I think, I think with all these Water Spirits, what we do here is we get rid of these Evil Knights right now. And we just go Divinity Woe to Warlock. We got a two-star this Warpwood, though. But I, I think we go out of Knights now, and we just go with the Warlock. Yeah, new Marvels, champ. Better watch out. B and DD Kong. Leaf is dropping down the gauntlet. You know, every top three auto chess game is Marvel's Grand Prix, ladies and gentlemen. Not a, not a, not a single Druid. I got the two Warpwoods. I had a Unicorn and a Whisper Seer. I was planning to go into Knights, though. So I got rid of them, but now I think we definitely go into Woda Warlock. Just because we haven't even two-starred our Gali yet, and it's going to be... We got the Warp Woods, so we'll be in a, a pretty decent spot. Key Controls Hunter Cave, though, takes us down. Can't wait to get a new Marbles race made this week in Greece. We cannot wait for it ourselves. We cannot wait for it ourselves. And it will also... Oh my water spirits, man. Holy moly. Let's try to find a druid to two-star warp wood. We could actually... We could actually use him. All right, let's do this. We don't star this up. 
so that we can use an egg to uh so that we can use an egg to uh three star him more easily so we're trying to keep that separated as much as possible to three star him once again run your wizards up front we're not very strong i don't know if we beat this creep round i don't know if we beat this creep round or not we'll have to wait and see we'll have to wait and see water spirit slides through against the new age outlaws the five time wwf tag team champions of the world the road dog in or the road dog in blue billy gun in pink our golly knight pure damage heal goes down it's not going to be enough though we're just sort i know sell the knights already ain't that the truth they're gone after this round for show if we had that two-star warp would we probably win there now we uh now we go ahead here though let's do this God of War, we need Venomancer. Let's roll this sucker down here real fast. Unicorn, two-star, and he goes, and he goes, and out he goes. And let's level up real fast. Whoop, I hit the roll twice there. Uh, I'm not going to get the roll up. I hit, D, I hit roll twice there. I didn't even see what those rolls were, sadly. I was trying to level. <laughs> now we're going to get out of the slop. Don't worry. And to level, we go to 8 next round. We are doing A-OK -okay this round, though, against the Dragon Mage build right here. For now, does have that 2-star Woda on the back line. Both of our Wodas slipping and sliding. Warpwood drops the heal down. What an absolute manimal with his cooldown. Look at this guy. He does not afraid of anything. Doesn't afraid of anything indeed. We shouldn't have won that either. Soul Reaper is exactly what we were looking for. Let's go ahead and level. Even off curve, it does not matter. Alright, so what we do here is we want to three-star this warp wood. Holy crap, we want a three-star water spirit now, actually. I take everything I was just about to say back. Uh, you go and you come. One more warp wood and he's three-star. We have wizards with our uh, with Grand Herald and Soul Devour. So we have wizards to three star this warp wood. We need one more. Got to know which unit is tanky and not for starters. Wait, wait. Oh yeah. How do I know how to position? Like you said, wizards up front. What's the strategy and placing? Okay. Very good. Very good question, Dre. So positioning is one of the hardest things to answer. It's it's one of those things that every single game it changes. It changes based on what you're building and who you're against. For, I'm playing Divinity Water Spirit right now. So for Divinity, every game, you're not very tanky until you get a three-star Warpwood. He's the main tank. So Warpwood always does go in front because he's tanky. You know is right about that. Normally your tanky units are in the front. So that's why I need Warpwood three-star to be my front line. Against Creep Rounds, though, against NPCs, the Wizards don't do any damage to them. They're just here to give me cooldown reduction. So I just use them as cannon fodder to buy some time to take down the creeps, the NPCs, because I don't have any real constant damage. It's just all about water spirit sliding through. It's kind of the mentality behind it for the build that I'm doing right now. But um, positioning is one of those things that is constantly changing based on the game that you're playing and who you're against and what you're building. There's our three-star Warpwood. So you got to put the Druids on the board. And now we can just go ahead and click three-star, move them back out here. We don't need him anymore. We make an Ice Armor. We already made it. And it goes on our Water Spirit. Uh-oh. It goes on Warpwood for right now. But yeah, like for Warriors, you normally the rule of thumb is your melee unit goes up front. Your melee units who are tanky go up front. And your range go in the back. The range goes in the back. He's lying. Position doesn't matter. Just put everything... Uh, just put everything in the front. Don't listen to DD Kong either. Let me see here real fast. So, what you want to do is though, uh, just like you know was saying, put some tanky units up front there. Just let them uh, let them tank for you. Even though it's before creep round, it normally wouldn't roll. But he's so close to three star. We want to roll here. We want to roll. Give me just a minute. I want to three star this water spirit very badly. It doesn't matter what the cost is. No matter the cost. We need Desperate Doctor for our other Warlock, so we'll go ahead and just grab him right now. And there it is. I was adjusting the mic volume. It was looking, it was redlining a little bit, so I don't want to be uh, screaming at y'all. I hope it's okay here. So, Three Star Water Spirit is my carry. We are against nine Warriors who have armor, and look at this Water Spirit just shredding on through, baby. Hey, Havoc's Capitano, bonjour. Bonjour, Capitano. How are you doing? Happy Friday. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my friend. Hello. 
Yeah, Tortula, for, but don't listen to them for us. It's normally like the melee tanks in front, Dre, and then your ranged carries in the back is, is how the builds go. They are indeed trolling here. We can sell off our Unicorn for Econ now, too. All right, here we are. Here we are. We are um, against Wild Wing Rippers, so we'll move the Wizards up again to tank. But the three-star Warpwood basically makes us good to go. You still have a, you have a one Herald and have passed two in shop. Uh, I think do you still want two-star. So uh, Nova, what's going on, Nova? Hello, hello. I do. I just didn't have the bench room for him with all the water spirits. So I am gonna get him. I am going to get him, but with him stealing the startup level of whatever unit he takes it from anyway, I was prioritizing getting that um, getting that Warpwood 3-starred and also getting my Water Spirit 3-starred. But he is going to get 2-starred now. It was just for bench room from before. I, I got you. I got you, Nova. You fear not, baby. How is your Friday going? Try not to change test for fighting. Yeah, I, I can't. I forgot where the setting is on PC client. I have it turned off in my blue stacks and whatnot. There we go. All right, this can go over here. You can go right here. And basically, we go to nine now. We get in four warlocks. And look, the hold shamans. Where is the setting at for it? Yeah, you know is correct. Uh, you know is correct. If you want to, if you're against assassins, assassins jump to your back line. So you put tanky units in the back line against assassins to intercept them. We are against key controls. Cave Hunter build right now. Look at the cleaner. Kinio Water Spirit. Slipping, sliding, dropping down that damage and doing work for us. Warpwood heals on through. We don't want to kill key, but we don't want to die ourselves. All right, so keep econing here. We could go up in level. It would take everything we have, though. We'll wait. Once you have five unupgraded water spirits on the bench. I know I, I could have started up because I'm not going to egg it after that. I am a, a M7 Kujata. I am Rook 5, seven points to Rook 6. How are you doing today? Hello, hello, Kujata. Happy Friday. No, I could have started him up, Dark Turkey. But Grand Herald's okay, chilling right now, one star anyway. I appreciate it though, man. Old Nova. We are seven points from Rook Six. Seven points. Look at this water spirit. My word, what an absolute, just beautiful being he is. Chilling, and Lucas goes down. We still got a lot of work left to do this game. Four Warlocks will give us a lot of healing. Warpwood gives us a nice silence target for these Dooms, since he is the highest cost with both of these units being three starred. Which is good for us. Good for us. Wait, did Key go? Oh, Key went down. Give Key control some GGs for me if we can, y'all. Give Key some GGs. Key, I'm sorry. I didn't even see that. GGs, Key. Really suck. Rayron, hello. Good afternoon to you, Rayron. Rayron, how's your Friday going? What is happening? Hammers, hammers, hammers. I believe we'll be good with the Maelstrom. Let's check it. A little beast action. Is that insectoids? It's not insectoids yet. It's beast. Could easily turn into insectoids. Looks like it's going to be beast Kira. Let's actually go with an oblivion staff over the um, over the maelstrom right now. Wanted to try to slow roll. Did better than expected. Was one away from umber three. Oh, I remember in bear stream you talking about. That's the build you, you were doing the Agursus uh, the Agursus uh, Hunter build. Key. I just realized it too. Let me give a B key control 2D, you know, and leaf. Thank y'all for dropping those GGs down for our boy key there. Do we even really need a Python is the real question here. Oh, nope. What do we got here? There is another water spirit, but he's not like, he's not divinity warriors. I mean, we could just make the Python just to have uh, ability immunity. Cheers, man, and that's a nice rank, by the way, this early in the season. Thank you, Kujata. Thank you. I've had a... It's been a pretty good season for me. Yeah, Dre, the Water Spirit with Divinity cooldown is very, very good. Very, very good. You can see him just going this warrior, though. Uh, we got stunned here. Woo! Still slides through, takes the Doom down. The Doom dying is the best thing, just because now we don't have to worry about the silence. So we barely live that. All right, good. So we go to nine next round. It's a little later. Than what we wanted it to be just because our econ was low. 
We'll go to nine. We'll get four warlocks, and it's going to get massive healing. And then once again, we are going to hold shamans for the beast witcher. This three-star witcher getting hex would be a huge deal, and for his venomancer as well. We also need it for sacred lancer and warriors to get hex. That girl's got built-in magic resist, and he's got her holding a python as well. So we got we got some people that we need to hex. So from here on out, we're going to look to transition our warlocks into shamans. Is how we're going to transition this to try to win. We're in top four. Top four is not good enough. We want to we wanna get this down now. With only three other opponents left over, we can look at who's left and how do we counter them to get that first place spot. So goal when you start the game is to, you, when you come in, all you got to do is say, my goal is to get top three. And then as soon as you hit that top three, now you got to say to yourself, my goal is to win this lobby. What do I need to do to win this lobby? Is how you transition that over in your head. So we need a Voodoo Staff, some more damage going down here. Cloud Halberd's probably not terrible either. Like I said, we don't really need a Python this game. There's no magic damage. It would give us ability immunity, but it's not a huge deal. I'd rather keep this Woda alive right now, 2D. Warpwood's going to be plenty tanky. I like the ice armor on my Woda. I like, I'm not a fool. I like to wrap my tool, okay? So we do got our, wa our Warpwood in the middle tanking away. Woda has some good damage. Is slipping and sliding. Doom hasn't dropped the silence yet. Did he have a Doom? But look at this Lance right here. She takes a little bit of damage coming on through. Warpwood still healing away. Water Spirit slides one more time. Ooh, girl, you're getting a little low there, but she keeps healing. Just an absolute disgusting unit, but Woda takes her down. We just need him to die now. We just need him to die. What's your opinion on Knights in the current meta with the newly added piece recently? So Kujata, the new piece until the last patch wasn't very good if you high rolled her and you got ahead then it would be okay and good but otherwise in normal games not so good i haven't really played since the patch on wednesday but the patch looked really big on the buff for her so i imagine knights are just fine before this patch knights were still in the meta but they weren't very strong they might be stronger now i'm not sure I would imagine so though. If you can get if you can get her now definitely and, and have her ahead, then I'm sure she slaps. I'm sure she slaps really hard. Look at this fallen witcher. This is what we need our shamans for. I'm just getting ready to go up to level 10. We have a better five cost shaman chance on 10. And as you can see, this Kobe Bryant fallen witcher is huge. Yeah, best knight comp, six knights, three dragons, four Agursus. I would agree because that is the knight comp that even beats warriors. I highly believe that beast would be the next one to be nerfed. Yeah, they uh, all they did really was nerf the Fallen Witcher range, but that's not really a nerf anyway. You know what I mean? Let's get this Doom in here just as the best unit we see so far. And nothing. We are looking for some shamans. I'll stop there too. Hmm? Do you see that right there? So let's change this over to him and put this on him, the male storm, just for more damage. And this will disarm our opponents, make our warp wood a little bit tankier. Yeah, they nerfed, they they gave Avenged Knight a buff and nerfed Warriors, and, and Warriors is very, very good against Knights. So now, uh, now the counter to Knights is a little bit weaker, but as you can see, he's still very well represented in this top three and still looking pretty strong right now. And Mujata, can I get some rosés down for Mujata? Thank you, Mujata, so, so much for that follow, and welcome to the family, Mujata. If you got questions, you want to talk, or you ever need anything, like you've been doing, oh, Scryer, just never be afraid to put it in chat, the safe space. Thank you so much, Mujata, for that follow. Welcome, 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 welcome. And Hofti B, Farju, Leaf, and Tootie, thank y'all for the rosés. Hofti, hello, hello, happy Friday. Jack as well, hello, Jack, how are you doing? Happy Friday, Hofti and Jack. Thank y'all for the rosés. Let me just say this, Six Beasts with New Knight is absolutely not OP. Don't try it, Havix. I, I completely believe you there, I believe you there, Rayron. I, would, I, I was not thinking about running it, but I appreciate the heads up. Yeah, the, the internet's been a little bit laggy today. I'm going to probably go back over to Blue Stacks today just to use as little bandwidth as possible after this game. So we'll do a marbles race, and then we will uh, change over to Blue Stacks, I think. Friday, let's bring out the Jack Daniels and Games is Bjornin. Good morning, is Bjornin. Hello as well. Hello, is Bjornin. How has your Friday been going, you handsome devil? How is your Friday going, baby? All we need, all we need is Defector and uh, Lava Shaman, so I'm going to roll down for those on 36. We're the lowest health. We got a lot of health to take off of people, but we can deal with this Witcher, especially with him teleporting. We just put a Shaman right there, just wait on him, and we are uh, good to go. Good to go. 
All right, so this goes in the front now, and by that I mean our Devastator. Time for four Shamans. You know, you see this little girl right here? She is there for Shamans. I completely agree with you. Sell Doc for Econ. Uh, yeah, we actually do need to. That's a very good call, Key Control. We're not going to stay into Druids or into Warlocks anymore anyway. So he goes away. He does indeed. Another Mysterious Staff. Ew, hoo -hoo. Hold on. We're going to actually take this. We don't have an Orb of Region. So what you do is you make the Ice Armor more damage. You make Sheep Staff, a.k.a. Scythe of Ice, is an excellent, excellent... Holy crap, y'all. We just high rolled. That was a very good roll. One more Shaman, please. One more Shaman. I'm trying to take this slow so I don't miss him. One more Shaman. Oh, swing and a miss. Still not there, but we're almost there. Cheeky Warrior. Hello, hello, Cheeky Warrior. Happy Friday. How is your day going, Cheeky? What is happening, baby? Any thoughts on current Hunter builds, for example, with these cheesy cave clans in the mix? Kujata, I would recommend still if I like... Hunters falls off in the late game. Nice, bored, looking sexy. Thank you, Cheeky. You looking sexy today. It's been a good day today getting ready to get some games in. Is Bjorn in? Good luck on the games. I hope they go well. Get those games in for me. All right, so hold on one second. There we go. Now what you do here is we're going to put in Storm Shaman. We are going to put in Scryer, and we put in Lava Shaman. Lava Shaman in the front, Storm and Scryer on the back, so it hexes anybody coming in here, right? We keep Devastator in because we're not going to have Warlock buff anyway. So, Hunters, Kujata, fall off late game, okay? Unless you hit a Devastator. It's six Hunters, four Gersus, Devastator is really the core to being still okay. Warriors beats it really badly, though. So, what you do is if you go Hunters, in my opinion, so even with the cave buff, you go four cave with three Hunters and two a Gersus buff if you can. So, Umbra and a Gersus Ranger. As soon as you hit six Hunters... Then you just drop it down and you go Agursus Hunters and just worry about only having a 2k buff instead of a 4k buff. Otherwise, you'll be holding too much on the bench. And that will get you pretty decently into that late game. Soul Reaper instead of Devastator? I, you think so? For the heals? I'll give it a go for you, baby. I'll give it a go for you. Alright, Evil Knights? Nope. We're trying to two-star some stuff down here. We actually don't need these Warlocks anymore. I'm going to sell them off in a Memento. We'll do it right now. Just because the clock is already ticking. This is just for you. I would consider Soul Reaper over Devis with what, even without Warlock. We got him in. It's the uh, healing cooldown. So here is that Fall Witcher. Watch this. And now he is a Thunder Spirit, ladies and gentlemen. No more, no more Deva in anyway. And uh, now he is a Fortune Teller. This is how you deal with carries in Auto Chess. We got, he's got a big three-star Fallen Witcher. What we going to do, Pa? Uh, I'll tell you exactly what we're going to do. We're going to hex that sucker, and then we will murder his face off. We are going to hex and murder. Hex and murder. I'll stay over 40. I want to do a couple rolls. I should just go down over 30, too. Should just go over 30. These are pretty good items on him. They're not bad at all. Let's see if this guy keeps teleporting this Witcher in. He still has on a look at these items. You, we have to keep hexing this guy. That is a huge, huge Fallen Witcher there. Huge Fallen Witcher. All right, we are against the nine warriors right now. Has a three-star troll Zerker. A very good time for us to have in. Ooh, that's bad. We lost our water spirit. Our Scryer, though, starting to put ads down. Two chains. Our Priestess uh, Rapper dropping it down. Three-star Sword over here as well. Sword starts spinning to win. And now Zerker finally. That's actually worse. He's going to do more damage now. So three-star Zerker to Hex there. He'll take our health down a little bit. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. I would honestly take a Defector here, too. Or I could actually put a dupe into the Storm Shaman and have another hexing target over Soul, Soul Reaper. I'm feeling like another hexing target would not be terrible. Especially against this warrior right here. Lancer and Berserker and Sword. I think we go four hexing targets now. <laughs> we shall see how these rolls go. So we got the Glacial Clan, AK Bulgo, Shamanikins, Double Shaman. Really like your insight, bro. Keep it up. By the way, I'm Rook 1 so far this season. Kujata, very nice, man. That's a good Rook 1 already. If you can get a Blink Dagger on one of your low-level Shamans. I completely agree, Dark Turkey. And get a nice little uh, nice little Storm Shaman ult down, too, if we can Blink it. 
I'm totally with you on that play. I think it's a good idea. Cloud Halberd over Monkey probably in this matchup. Yeah. Alright, let's do some rolling real fast. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. There is the Defector, another uh, Hexing target. Come on, baby. No whammies, no whammies. Ooh. All right. So the Witcher still teleporting on into the side right now. Dark Spirit Ult goes down on all of our units. A uh, Witcher now, though, is hexed into a Poison Worm. Excelente. Excelente. Shh. Don't tell him to stop teleporting it. 50 gold to roll. Yeah, the uh, though, uh, Dark Turkey is completely right, though. If we can get a teleport dagger off someone dying, we didn't get any pieces for it. We can teleport one of our Shaman to the back line for Lancer and Troll Berserker who, as you saw, were way in the back. So if we can get those down, back, get those back there, which we didn't get the pieces, then they will turn and kill the Shaman and get hexed faster, is really what he is talking about there. Oh, two-star Deva, how you doing, baby? I think right now, so it's going to be Beast Witcher again, I believe. What's up, Cheeky Warrior? What is going on again, Cheeky? Hello? Hello, hello? All right, it was the warrior. I thought we were going to get the beast since we only got the copy. Would have liked to have the, the defector in for this roll right here to get some extra damage going on down. Water spirit slipping and sliding. Slides on out the other side right now. Sacred Lancer's on top and actually does get hexed there. And down he goes. We took the warrior out the game, baby. Do you stream AC only, by the way, and how often you stream, my man? So, uh, Kujata, I stream Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The only day off that I take is on the only day off i take is on thursday which was yesterday and outside of that i stream auto chess from right now from 10 a.m eastern time for if you're here in the states until about 3 or 4 p.m eastern time uh, so 15 utc is when i start right now if you are international but I, I do only stream right now auto chess. Sometimes after the auto chess hours, I'll stream another game. I'm going to start streaming some night streams, though, too. So I'm going to do two streams a day. The second stream will be a different game. And the first stream is going to be auto chess. Whoa, Tuggers, my man. Give me some rosés down. Sekiro right now, indeed, you know. Sekiro is that second game right now. Give me some rosés, please. Broken sword. Yeah, I wanted to move it over to uh, over down yonder. Is he still teleporting? Hold on. Let me let me focus here real fast, y'all. Man, for real, thank you so, so much, Tuggers, for that gift sub, my brother. Thank you for everything you do, Tuggers. I love you so much. I'm looking for a two-star scryer right now. Tuggers, thank you for real. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Kujata, welcome to the sub family, my friend. And thank you so much for coming on in and hanging out with us today, too, Kujata. Oh, he's moving his teleport over. So it teleports over to the side, but then it goes straight on top of these uh, of these shamans real fast. You all, I do stream marbles too. In between auto chess games, we play marbles. So he ends up with a three star grand herald now. Wednesday you had a red hoodie, and today you have a red hat. There, it's all uh, cheeky. It's all Georgia Bulldog stuff. It's all Georgia Bulldogs. Is a professional marble streamer. AC is his second game. We just do AC, you know, in 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 between. In between the uh, the uh, the uh, we just do AC in between marbles. So much love in here feels amazing. It is we have a fantastic family, Kujata. That's why I always welcome followers into the family because everyone's supportive, looking out for each other, and that is it is all of us that make it that way. And I couldn't ask for a better community than what we have here. And that's why it really is. It's the family. It's the family for that reason. And V Tuggers Grease. Farjuru, you know, Jack, Hofty, Leaf, uh, Kujata, and Key Control. Thank y'all for those rosés as well. If Hero comes in from Shaman Transform, does it still an ult and use it immediately? Hmm, good question. I don't know. Do we do do we we do AC in here? I thought we only did marbles. We do. That's why I'm just getting us one little uh, one little eight one little marbles game in. Neon Beast is gonna beat us. I didn't front line. I didn't front line my wizards. So Neon Beast probably has enough damage to beat me here. But it does not kill, luckily. Ooh, Penguin went down. Ice Armor popped off again. Water Spirit slides through. Trying to get the job done. He's not going to, though. He falls just short. If I had frontlined the Wizards, we would have been okay there. No worries. No worries. Let's roll this sucker. Scryer, please. Let's see what he's doing real fast with his Fallen Witcher. Is he still teleporting it? 
This guy is has stopped teleporting it. He stopped teleporting Witcher. So what you do right now is this. He stopped teleporting his Witcher. We still keep this in the back right now. But Witcher's no longer teleporting. So we have a little bit more of an issue getting to it. But you know what Havix always says? Uh, just put a Shaman on the front line and wait for that sucker to come on in. Look at him. He's just creeping on up right now, just waiting for that Penguin to run out. And now he starts hitting right on a Shaman. Your teleport does not matter to me, sir. We can position. He's getting a pretty good Poison Worm spawns down. Two three-star Poison Worms. This one, I imagine, is from the Insectoid buff. So we do start. He actually has a Lancer in here, too, now. I don't know if that was a Hex or not. Probably. Water Spirit still sliding on up. Doesn't hit some good AoE there. Goes down, might kill. Oof. I think here we go with another hex target just to make sure we get that sucker. That will actually be a better one than this one. Focus, I want to win this game so bad. We got to go check his positioning, Uno Moss. Not enough time. Might as well click out of war. We probably should have. I was just trying to hurry there. All right, here we go again. Fallen Witcher's on the top side this time. He's not on a Shaman just yet. A nice Storm Shaman ult does go down there, though. Still a few Shamans left alive. He did get Hex into a Grand Herald. That should be GG, ladies and gentlemen. GGs. Wait, wait, Cheeky. Wait, what I missed, has a professional commentator games is just his hobby. He's a professional commentator games is just his hobby indeed. And uh, B was right, not this time. I was going really hard for that first place here. So it should be a rank up. Bada boom, Rook 6, there we go. Thank y'all for the GG's by the way. Key Control, Hofty, Grease, Tootie, you know, Kujata, B, Farjru, Tuggers, and, and hi. Hi, YouTube Tuggers. Yes, uh, I can upload this one to YouTube for sure. I make that happen. That was, uh, I think that was a pretty good explanation game, too. I wasn't really commentating the fights. But I think we talked out what we were doing there pretty well. Thank y'all so much, man. Once again, hi. Thank you for the GGs and Leaf as well. Yes, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, too, if you're watching this in the future on YouTube. Hello from the past. You're going to be out of snipe range by day's end. Thank you, Drape.